Hello, welcome to this uh, tutorial by Servertastic. My name is Andy Gambles. I'm going to talk you through the odd process for a domain validated certificate purchased from Servertastic. Our website sells many certificates including Rapid SSL, Thought, GeoTrust and Semantic. So let's get started. So once you've completed the checkout process at Servertastic we will send you an email that looks a lot like this. All you need to do is click on begin process and that's when we will commence the configuration. So here we can see an overview of what you've ordered. Make sure it's correct details and then you just need to click configure. And we now be sent to Rapid SSL in this case. If it was a GeoTrust or a Thought Certificate, you'd be sent to that relevant website, but they all pretty much look the same. So on this page, the first thing you need to do is check that it's for the correct validation period. So in this case, one year. If your certificate is a renewal, select that option here. Any remaining days on your old certificate will be added to your new one up to a maximum of 90 days. So if you order a 12 month certificate and you still have one month remaining on your existing certificate we will issue with a 13 month certificate. If you have a certificate on your website issued by GlobalSign, Komodo or GoDaddy you can choose the competitive replacement option. Any remaining time on your competitor certificate up to 12 months will be added to your new certificate. So say you had a 6 month global sign certificate and you purchased a 12 month certificate from us we would issue you with an 18 month certificate at no extra charge. In this case reissuance insurance is included with all certificates so you can reissue it free of charge for the lifetime of the certificate and Rapid SSL certificates come with unlimited server licensing as do GeoTrust. This means you can install it on as many servers as you need. Just click continue to carry on. This is the page where you need to enter your CSIR. If you need instructions please click on the generate CSR link to be taken to the support pages which shows you how to generate a CSR on various different platforms. Paste your CSR in this box. You'll then see a page that shows the common name and any extra domains that will be secured by your certificate. So if you've included the www in your common name within the CSR then it will also secure the non www part of the domain. So here you can verify that it's the correct domain and the details are right. In this case the organisational information is not so important because as a rapid SSL this information is not checked and is strict when the certificate is issued. But if you are ordering an organisational certificate then this information must be accurate as this is what will be validated by the certificate authority. Here you must select your hashing algorithm. SHA-1 has broader support but SHA-2 is more secure. If your users are generally accessing with Windows XP pre-Service Pack 3 or using IE7 or less then it may be that you should use SHA-1. In most cases SHA-2 is supported since operating systems from about 2009 onwards. Here you need to enter the admin details for the order and the technical contact details or you can copy them from the admin. Once the order is completed it is the technical contact that will receive the certificate via email. On this page you must select an email address. This must be working and able to receive email. 
This is the email address that will be used to confirm you have the right to issue a certificate for this domain. If you do not have any of these email addresses set up, then you must set one up to be able to receive email. Final page is a summary page. So you need to check all your details. And then finally agree to the subscriber agreement. Once you click submit, you'll get this validation page which will show your order ID number. This is the certificate order ID number, so if you ever need to contact Rapid SSL directly, this is the order number that you would need to provide them. Alternatively, you can contact us with any queries with your order. So this is the approver email and you must click this link. So this is sent to the email address you selected earlier in the process. So once you click this link, you'll be presented with this page. So if everything is correct, you just need to click that I approve button. And your order is now complete. Some orders do require a manual review. It will say so here if this is the case. So if your order has been flagged for manual review, this will normally take up to around 24 hours. If it is taking a longer than that, then you are welcome to contact us and we will see if we can expedite the check. So now your order will be sent to you via email to the tech contact as specified during the order. If you need to check the status of your order or resend any of the emails, you can use the link in the first email you receive from Servitastic. Click through on this and you'll be able to perform any of these actions. Thank you very much. That was the SSL order process from Servitastic. If you need more information or if you have any questions, you're welcome to visit us at servitastic.com.